make my earthquake. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I take my Instagram photos when I am alone and I don't have anyone to help me and just how I do that, just simple, easy stuff and how I do it without, you know, having to buy a bunch of Christmas, uh, uh, hmm, a bunch of equipment, without having to buy a bunch of equipment such as like a camera and all that crazy stuff, really easy. So I'm gonna point out two things. One, I chat, please comment down below if you guys like this location for just me talking and for some parts of this video, I will be right here. Um, I do feel that, <laughs> I do feel like this is a really a kind of nice spot don't mind all of that in the back. That is some Ikea furniture that I just did not get the right parts for. We're not. If you want to know more about that, go watch my Ikea video. After this, the link to my vlog channel is in the description. So you guys can go find it and watch it. It's pretty funny. Anyways, so that, you know, that was a big problem. Anyways, but yeah, I got this chair and we decided to put it right here. And I feel like I like this spot and I like sitting on a chair and not on the ground. Anyways, another thing is, is that um, if you do know me, I also am a photographer. I do love doing photography. I am not taking any photography classes at school this year, but I did last year and I did do three internships with photographers. And I also did make my own website, which I, if you guys, if I ever do a photography related YouTube video, I will put a link to my website in the description. I am currently updating it and changing the name of my website and just all that kind of stuff. And I will be doing a modeling shoot soon um, with my friend. And I'm going to see if she wants me to, if I could vlog the experience with her, if I can. So we'll see if that happens. I don't really know. Um, that's about it. I will be right back. Okay. Okay, I am back and I've got my little notebook with all my notes for this video. Ugh. Okay, so I have written down, this is my notebook. And if you guys wanna see how I organize and how I organize my YouTube videos and other stuff and organize just like things in my to-do list, I can show you that, just comment it down below. I will take all those in into consideration. I feel like when I get bigger on YouTube, I can show you guys how I go about managing school and YouTube. And another short, quick thing, I'm sorry this intro is so long. Um, another quick thing is that also, I just posted a YouTube video and then I'll be posting this one. I mean, having a lot of gigabytes problems with my laptop, I don't really know how it works and how my laptop works, which I am hoping to figure out because I have like zero gigabytes and then this morning I ended up with 30 gigabytes and I was able to post the video. And hopefully I'll be able to edit this and post it. So I, anyway, let's just get right onto the video. Okay, so now I'm going to just kind of go over what you need and what you need to really, you know, have good Instagram pics is um, step one, you need a phone, something to take the pictures on. Obviously you could use a camera if you do have a camera if you do have a camera with a like control where you could press the button or like set a timer but my camera I don't really think I haven't really explored enough with my camera to know if it has a timer and I don't really have one of the buttons yet so I use my phone I feel like it works just fine um yeah basically and then you obviously need an Instagram like if you don't have an Instagram then what are you taking the pictures for if you're taking the pictures for other reasons, you don't want to do that too because it works the exact same. Um, I'm sorry, I keep going like this. Okay, but it works the exact same. Just take your photos. But if you're doing this for Instagram and that's why you're watching this video, you're going to need an Instagram. Okay, and then the next thing you're going to need is a tripod or some type of stand. I use my tripod that I use for my YouTube videos. However, it only lets me shoot in landscape. So I will go over um, how I'm going to go about doing it in portrait, but right now, oh, and if you don't have a tripod, just find some type of stand. If you have a chair that you can lean your phone up against on, that works just as good. 
I have done that before in the past. Or you could always get someone else to take the, fit up, the photo. But to be fair, this whole video is about doing it by yourself. I have two people downstairs that I could make take the photos for me, but I want to be able to show you guys how I take my photos by myself when I have literally no one around to take them. So yeah. Next, you need a location. Um, I have a pretty good backyard setup, which I like to do for photos. Sometimes I feel like it's fun. If you want, you could always go out somewhere and just like, you know, I'm going to my city library to take some photos on Wednesday on Wednesday, I think. Um, I also am going to be um, taking photos other places, you know, you really could take them anywhere. If you saw my ugly photo shoot challenge, go watch that after this too. Um, I took photos in a parking lot, which turned out really, really cute. Um, I took them in 7-Eleven. I took them in a lot of places, but I mean the parking lot one, that one was the cutest spot by far. Um, and you know, you need a good location. Um, I, I'm sorry, I have my notes and I like can't really think off the top of my head. So that's what we're doing. Um, but next you need for the setup, you need lighting. Lighting is something that can really help make your face look how you want it to look. You know, I don't know. I'm going like this to kind of show you like the light is coming in right here, but it's kind of darker on this side of my face. I don't know. I took a lot of photography classes, so I am really sorry, but the lighting really does go into play of how your photos look and how you want them to look and sometimes if you depending on the photo you want a darker photo a very gruesome like photo you could have a darker lighting or you could have nice bright in your face kind of make you glowy cute lighting next up is poses and you it just depends on how you want to look some of them can make you look taller some of them can make you just look I don't know, depending on what you're going for. Loungy, depends on what you're going for. I'll put a couple poses right here um, from just that I found on Instagram that you guys can look at and take inspiration from. And I will try these out myself too. So poses, taking the photo. So how I take the photo, take photos, or at least how I do it. Um, I usually start recording and then I go back and I screenshot the ones I like. And when I'm, the issue that I've run across in the past is that I just don't pose for long enough for me to get the shot to like screenshot it the way I want. So I have to stay in the pose for a good hot minute for me to get, to be able to screenshot what I want. But I usually just do that. You can always set a timer, which does work too if you know exactly what pose you're gonna jump into. Um, or you could, you know, obviously there's the tech 10 second one, so you can make sure you get the right pose. The next one is editing the photo. So, okay. So what I use to edit my photos is usually, okay, not to be basic or anything, but when it's just on my phone already, I usually use Visco or I can send them to my laptop. And for like my professional photos that I use with my camera that I take, I use either Adobe Photo Editor, or I use Polar Photo Editor Lite, and they're both on my lap. Those two are both on my laptop. This goes on my phone. This go, I feel like I just like the way that it edits, and it has like good filters, and I like the way that it edits, um, and the way that I can edit it. I don't know, but I also do recommend those for your laptop or something. But if you're just using your phone and like. A lot of people don't have laptops and stuff like that. Like I use it for my editing and all of that jazz, but I just use Visco. So not to like no high tech stuff here, just Visco. Okay, now we're, since I told you guys about everything that I know about doing this video, these photos, we're gonna go through and actually take the photo. We're gonna take some photos. That's what we're gonna do. Let's, let's just go. So now I'm outside and I've set up this, my tripod. We're gonna need to make it taller though, so. Okay, so we're gonna try to start out with some horizontal photos and I don't really know. We're trying my best here. <laughs> So I just 
just, I feel like I post too much in horizontal. So I'm gonna try to make this look hor the other way. Okay, so I have turned it. All right, wait for this to focus. Okay, so I've turned it all the way to its side. There's a little like indent thing right here next to the ball or the head. Um, where I have just turned it all the way down to like that so I could put my phone in like this. Yeah? Cool. Okay, so that was me posing for, I don't know. That was me trying to pose. I don't really know. I just kind of like... Because I feel like the lighting, when the light hits me like this, I feel like golden hour stuff. Like, but like you see this, this is not what you want. That's weird. So when there's a little bit of like glow, like you see that? I like that personally. I feel like it just depends on who, what you are going for here. I'm also just going to move over there and I'm going to go, you see, back there. I'm going to go there. Sorry, the lighting is not as good as it is outside, but I don't know. Maybe I'll film a video outside one day. I don't know. But where, as soon as I'm done taking the photos, I will go into my photos in my, on my phone. And I will screenshot every pose that I kind of like, really liked, eh, liked. And I will just screenshot them all. Then I'll delete the videos because we saving gigabytes here. We'll delete the videos and I will just go through and I will just swipe through each one and I will heart the ones that I want to keep and I will just swipe, 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 heart, 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 blah, blah, blah until you're done. And then I will go into just like the big photos thing um, and I will usually just delete all the ones that I didn't like and then I will go through again and just keep doing it and find a couple like five maybe maybe six um photos like main photos that i like and i will go through and i will edit all of those in visco visco i there is a, there is a choice to just put a filter on it and call it good but i personally just want to do it and do it my on my own to figure out which one i like best and what kind of lighting and how to change it contrast and all that kind of stuff to make the photo better the way that I want it. Oh, after that, after I'm done with Visco, I am an insecure child, you know? So I would, this is my dog. He's a beaut, I love him. Um, but after I'm done with that, I usually just go through again, decide which ones I like, decide which ones I don't like, depending on how the photo turned out when I'm done editing. And after that, I'll post one or two on Instagram and then I'll just delete them. And, delete, and keep the ones that I posted, obviously, because they were good photos. And you never know. If something happens to your Instagram, you're going to want to repost them. But after that, I'll just delete whatever ones I don't like. And I'll post them. And, yeah. So, now that we're done with all of this, I'm going to just outro. You know, outro things. Am I right? So, I really hope you guys liked this video. And if it did help you, please tag me in your Instagram photos. The ones that you take because of this video and you do it with me or something. If you took them and they were beautiful because of this video, tag me in them because I would love to look at them and see how much I helped you guys, you know? And tag me, you know, you need to know my Instagram, right? My Instagram is at underscore Tylee Coates underscore. My link is in the description. Go follow and go like the photo that I posted in this outfit because I'm not gonna waste all of that Footage. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna post the video. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna post the photos I meant. You are such a brat. Anyways, yeah, so go follow me on Instagram. Also subscribe to this channel. I know I'm so like, whoa, go do this. No, please go subscribe to my channel. I've been working very hard. I made it to 80 subscribers a while ago and I'm really, really proud of that. Um, I've been working so hard on this channel and I've been so stressed about it because I really do enjoy making videos for just people who watch them and I would love, love, love to make it to 100 subscribers by my birthday. And my birthday is in November. It's about a month away, a little over a month away. And I just would really love to make it there. So if you do see this and you do think that it was a good video and that it did help you, go subscribe, press the notification bell. I'm gonna be filming a lot more lately um, and trying to just get videos up for y'all because why not? So please, 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 oh, just please, please. Have a good day, have a good evening, have a good night, or just whenever you're watching this. <laughs> Bye.